Rural health in my community looks different depending on your social economic status. Some people experience top quality care and live a very luxurious lifestyle in this area, while others suffer greatly depending upon um, how much money they make. Mental health issues are often overlooked and many people work full-time jobs that don't offer insurance. Healthcare concerns are pushed to the background as we fight for affordable housing, fair policing, and equitable education. Women have been subjected to unfair policy as it regards to having a choice um, it seems that our state government uh, is constantly looking for ways to assert their pro-life morals over our constitutional rights. Um, families are suffering greatly from poverty. Um, and it seems like it's the black and the brown people who suffer the most. Um, the living wage if you do not have health care in this particular county, it's $12. But if you have health care, then it is $11. That $1 per hour difference is just not even enough to afford Obamacare. Um, so it's just really interesting to live in this time and this space where we're so advanced technologically, um, socially, uh, but we have not figured out how to take care of one another and to treat everybody well. Um, as a woman, as a black woman specifically, I see disparaging numbers in almost every institution. Um, we worry about food security. We worry about um, clean water. And this is not a third world country this is right here in the state of North Carolina so um, it's just something that really hurts to watch and I work really hard to fight against this in my day job at Green Opportunities which is an organization that helps eliminate barriers for people who are looking for work as well in my writing as I write about issues that affect black and brown people in rural North Carolina